Dave Jack's cooking with the blues here. So I've been thinking of what to do with these pork chops. I just picked them up the other day. And Lakeisha did a fine job with these. On sale, $2.27 a pound. You know, beautiful bone-in pork chops. I said, you know what? I want, I want to do uh, some Colorado green chili for a while. So I said, well, we're gonna do a, we're gonna do a Colorado green chili pork chop. So I have some uh, bacon. I took you know the fatter end because we want the we want to be able to cook our pork chops in the uh, bacon fat, and uh, but also have a little bit of lean. If you come over here, I have some nice chicken stock going. Look at this dark chicken stock. I made it the other day. Zero in on it. Zero in. I just added a lot of uh, like red onion peelings. Uh, and so anyway, it's beautiful, beautiful, rich stock, you know. Um, and uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brown up the uh, bacon fat. It's got a little bit of water in it, so it's gonna cook off. And here, I'm gonna take this. Uh, so. I, I didn't know what I was going to do with the vegetables because I, you know, I kind of rough cut, I'm going gonna, gonna to rough cut them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook them off in the uh, chicken stock and then make my, make my gravy, uh, you know, with the stock that I cooked the vegetables in. So kind of, kind of a, a r bigger, kind of a rustic cut, we'll call it. Okay. Put that in there. One more stock. I kind of want to cook it down. And then what I did is I peeled the onion, but I left the hairy end on it. I want to hold. I want to hold the pieces together. And uh, so we're gonna cut them into three. I, you know, when it cooks, I just I just kind of developed this little technique uh, myself. Leave that end on, and uh, one more, one more. Okay, so matter of fact, I'm gonna slide this out to the back burner, and uh, gonna do our pork chops up. whole wheat flour my friend Kevin grinds up for me I put a little bit of that, uh, that disco dust on there that, <laughs> that, that daddy jacks okay Look at that, nice, with a tenderloin on it. Ooh, boy. So. Okay. Time to pull out the secret weapon. A little bit of my bacon grease I had laying around. Sorry, melt the bottom of the spoon. I'm gonna push that off to the side with the bacon. Let that slow cook. Here we go, we're gonna brown this up here. This is gonna be so good, Lakeisha. Mm, can't wait. And we gotta we gotta cook up some brown rice. Okay. Jeez, that might take a little bit of time, huh? What do you think? <clears throat> so we're gonna reserve some of this flour in case we need to make add some to make the roux.
All right, let's turn the heat down on it. We got to, you know, brown it up, but we don't want to burn it up. And Daddy Jacks, we got our vegetables in the back. Ve vegetable bowls. Look, mm -hmm. come on in. Come on in, Keish. Okay. Let that get. Let that uh, get right, as Jeremy says. Jeremy Smyers. He says, get it right. I got to keep up with these guys, man. These guys will leave me in the dust. Steve Hughes, uh, Sean, uh, Steve Hughes, Jeremy, they're cooking up a storm down there in Texas and, and, and other parts. Um, Aaron, and these guys, Vinny, these guys are doing some serious damage. You know, I got I to gotta step up my game. Lois, Lois down there making making her baked goods and stuff, something else. Okay, we're talking John up in, I think, Plymouth up on the Cape. He's cooking up some crazy stuff. Who else you say? Lewis and Isabella across the big pond. Uh, who else? Polly. Oh, Polly D and mm -hmm. his sons. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Mike. Mike. V. Oh, Mike V. Mm -hmm. Something else. Mike Tyler, mm -hmm. the scallop and lobster king. Look at that. See, we don't want to, we don't want to put too much heat on it because we're gonna braise it in the oven and uh, gonna get it on slow cook, bake. That's another thing you gotta remember is we're gonna do it at three and a quarter. So you put on bake, set the time, and, and sometimes I forget to press the start button. That's my Fonzie move. All right, so let's get nice back here. Make sure our vegetables are covered up. Okay, that's all I want right there. Go ahead, sit. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. You're the best. You know that? Okay. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> while well, that's going, I'm going to take this out, turn our fire down. Bob Jacko. My buddy Bob got, got me started in all these videos, helped me get started. He works at... Uh, a Walmart, and they had these on closeout, hatch green chilies. Jeez. So. Look at these, oh boy. These are beauties, look, whole. I'm gonna make uh, some rellenos out of these. Let's try it out. Mmm, wow. So, I'm gonna dice these up. These are so nice. Check them out, Lakeisha. How'd it come in this can? Oh, I've been wanting to make this. I'm gonna make some pozole too. Some New Mexican pozole. Okay. Plenty of chilies. We call us for a lot of chilies. And my buddy Greg Smith, he spent some time in New Mexico too, and he makes he makes a green chili. So uh, one day we're gonna have a cooking competition. Not a competition, just a friendly. So um, add some of this flour. I want to make sure we got plenty of gravy. We had the flour, so I'm going to put it in there. Most of it. Don't worry, we're going to work the lumps out of it. 
Okay. We want this on a thinner side because we're going to cook it in the oven for a little bit. So I'm going to get a little, even a little bit more stock. And then the green chilies. I'm going to give it a taste. Mm. So good already. I'm gonna even put a couple more chilies in there. So I want that to be the, the star of the show. Oh, these are so beautiful. Mm. Okay. Okay, even a little more chicken stock. So I want, I want, I want plenty of, plenty of gravy. Put our vegetables in there. Axel knows that sound. bring that up to a slow simmer and then we're gonna load it in the oven we're gonna make our rice and uh we'll be back we'll be back dad you guys come with the blues colorado green chili pork chops check it out lakeisha starting to starting to simmer up nicely look you know all the vegetable is uh al dente and then uh you know, always bring it up to a good simmer when uh always bring it up to a good simmer before you pop it in the oven so that as it hits the oven it's cooking it's not waiting for the oven to catch up the sound the sound of tastiness Right, Lakeisha? Give it just a little bit more. Mm. <clears throat> oh, boy, howdy. That's what they say down south. Boy, howdy. They just had some snow down south. We have 40 degree weather here today. Sat out on the deck a little bit. Quick, it's going in the oven. Okay. Woo wee. 15 minutes in the oven. I just enough time to get that rice cooked. Uh, the brown rice. Thank you guys cool with the blues. Love you all. We'll be right back. Ready, set, go, go. Yep. Okay. So look, we got our rice. So what I did is, you know, we'll we'll put some uh anyway, this was sitting in the refrigerator. And I said, Keisha, where's the cabbage at? This is some uh, Napa cabbage, right? They call it? Savoy. And Savoy. Yeah. A Napa, I think, also. Okay. And uh, it looked like an uh, iceberg. So, mm -hmm. but here we got our rice almost done. So I'm going to put this on top and steam that down real nicely as it finishes off. Hopefully the timing's right on it. And, uh... Here we're gonna go put that on top. Let's check our pork chops. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. 
Look at that. So I'm going to turn them over. Mm-hmm. I can already tell they're pretty getting tender. Getting right, as Jeremy says. And they put, he puts those uh, ribs or the pork or the pork butt in the smoker. He calls it. We put them in there and get them, get them right. Look at that. Woo wee! Let's see. We got about another ten minutes there, Keisha. Okay. Come over here. Just in time because, oh boy, doing a crossword puzzle. So we got about another five minutes left on that. Lakeisha, she's making some headway. Mm -hmm. And popped this bottle. Of it. I said, she said, can you pull the cork out? I said, damn. I said, look at it. And I saw her glass was a red wine. I said, a cork and a glass of red wine, a bottle. And then I saw it was sparkling. I said, oh, man. Good choice. It's some uh, Re Reggiano Lambrusco Dolce. And Lakeisha, uh, Lakeisha was saying, well, that really doesn't go with uh, uh, those pork chops with the uh, Colorado green chili pork chops. I said, come on. Why not? Why not? <laughs> and uh, we're, we're not going to be wine snobs. <laughs> Normally, I'm going to put a glass, of, uh, uh, a couple cubes in there. But hey, we're getting right ourselves waiting on that pork chop to cook. Right, Lakeisha? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> We'll be back in about 10 minutes. Peace. All right, crosswords are done. We're done. Pork chops are ready. There's the rice and the cabbage. So I had to turn the oven off because I'm just waiting on that rice a little bit. Woo! Boy. Boy, oh boy. So we're going to go with the rice show you how we're going to plate this up. Okay. All right. Just because uh, I, I want to make a well in it because we're going to put Plenty of green chilies on there, right? Mm -hmm. okay. A little bit in the center of our rice. All right, I think we need a little bit of color on there though. So. Need a little bit of color. We'll put a little bit. What do you think? Nice. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. It's Daddy Jack's cooking with the blues. Colorado green chili pork chops. That's your that's your plate there, Lakeisha. Oh, really? All, All that? Right. Oh yeah. Oh, my All God. for you, baby. Okay. Thank All you, right. honey. Love you, honey. Love you. All right, guess who shows up? This is time to eat. So first we're gonna try our rice. Make sure with the gravy. Keisha said it was banging, so. Mm -hmm. Really good. Not a lot of uh, heat. The chilies are not spicy. They're not hot. No. Nice, nice flavor. Mm-hmm. Mmm. You haven't tried the pork chops yet, Lakeisha. No. Just had a bite bite of that uh, rice. Mm-hmm, and the gravy. Mmm. I'm gonna turn my plate a little bit like that.
people said somebody commented I kind of make a little bit too much noise when I eat. I'm sorry. <laughs> it might be Axel eating too. <laughs> Blame everything on Axel. <laughs> the farts and everything. No, we got we got we got the I'm had to edit that out. It was usually you. But uh, Daddy Jack's cool with the blues, so I have my apron. I like a folded apron. I, d I don't like the apron up high, so what? I, this was a prototype. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the logo down on the apron so it's down lower. But you'll be able to get them at uh, Daddy Jack's NewLondon.com for all the merchandise, Sam Meyer CDs, uh, Black and Seasoning. It. Shake. Well, we didn't tell him how to do that yet. <laughs> he doesn't retrieve. He get a look at him. He doesn't retrieve. He sits. Sit. He'll sit. Lay down. Lay down's kind of difficult. <laughs> but anyway, we're digging in. We can't, I can't wait any longer. But sometimes I'll close trim the pork chops and dice it up and throw it in with the fat. You got a little bit of fat on the outside of this, but it's still so tasty. And uh, smothered, that's like a Colorado uh, smothered pork chop. We love it. Uh, Day Jack's Cooking with the Blues, peace. Mm.